guys, I'm Erica the photographer. This video is behind the scenes of one of my Sugar Soul blacklight photo sessions. Hello. I need to start first by painting my flowers. So in order to do that, I have to lay everything out. I've got quite an assortment of colors. I didn't use all of them, but just kind of showing you what I, ha what I have. Some in tubes, some in little tubs. Um, I thought I was going to use tweezers, eh, didn't end up. Bobby pins, you'll see how those come into play here in a little bit. But we're going to get ready by using some eh, cheap flowers from Wally World. You see a little orange dot on one because I was kind of pre-testing them. And you slide down the leaves, save them for later, and you just clip off all the flowers one by one. And then we get ready to start painting. Now, since the final shot's going to be in black light, I needed to paint them in black light. So here we are with the house lights off and the black lights on. And I decided I was going to do pink flowers and blue flowers. So two shades of pink, one light, one dark, just kind of get ready. As you can see, I don't need a lot because I'm going to water it down with just water and just kind of really thin it out. Um, it's water-based paint anyways, so just a little goes a long way. And hmm, flowers are organic in nature, so I can be as messy as I want to be. So starting with the light and just kind of paint them all. I do a little bit darker colors, start trimming off the edges. I think I even got some black paint, wish it in there a little bit. Um, same thing with the leaves, two colors of green, one light, one dark. I'm going to trim them off in black to give them some extra depth. And that's kind of basically the gist. Slide it in, and you're ready to move on. Now it's the same thing with the next flowers, the blue ones, one light, one dark. And you just kind of sloppily just paint them in, do the leaves. I ended up doing four blue flowers and four pink flowers. Remember the white? That's what it would look like. And now this is what they look like. Now I'm going to show you what they look like in studio lights, just so you can kind of get a gist. Same thing again. Okay, boring light, but now we've got awesome pink and blue flowers. So moving on to the actual photo shoot, I gotta turn on my studio UV lights again, and here's my model. She's actually my daughter. Say hi to Allie. I have her pull off her shoulder straps, and I'm gonna hand her a baby wipe to kind of get the oils off of her skin, give myself a nice clean palette, and then just so we don't dry out the skin with the paints, put a little hydrating moisturizer on her. And then we give her a paper towel. She tucks it in because I hate to edit, so I can just pop that paper towel off and have a nice clean edge when I'm done. Again, for my local Wally World, I just got a cheap Teen Spirit type makeup and just with my favorite little elf makeup sponge, I just kind of dotted on in layers. I believe there's two layers here. Again, UV coats, UV paints will go better when it's got a nice base coat. So here I'm actually airbrushing the UV paint on so I can get a nice smooth coat. And it's literally just equal mixtures of UV paint and tap water in my little container. Shake it up and you're good to go. Now the paints are completely non-toxic, but of course I don't want to blow it up her nose. So you can see I have her just taking a couple big breaths while I'm going around the nose and the mouth. But again, layer upon layer upon layer. And now it's ready for the painting. Uh, using my Paradise Black in a super thin down, watered down version, I'm just kind of mapping out where I'm going to go. I'm just giving myself some tracing lines because then I'm going to come in with the air gun and start painting the colors. Oh, say hi to Kitty. She had to come visit Mama. Everyone say hi to Dinah. And now she's going to tell Mama, I'm mad at you. Bye. <laughs> so we start with the same combination 50-50 of water and UV paint in my air gun. And I start mapping out the colors. Again, I love to go from lighter to darker. I think the UV is just, they, the paints build up better intensity that way. So starting with the light color. And then I decided to use a darker color red to kind of trim it out. And you can see she's starting to take shape and starting to take depth. Working under the cheekbones, getting under the flowers. And once it's all nice and happy and dry, then I start going in with the black paint in its full intensity. Now UV lights don't show body hair like you would see them in regular street lights. So I don't have to worry about gooping out the eyebrows. Um, I don't need to worry about mascara. We decided we were going to go with a classic sugar skull look with just the black eye sockets. So I just used the same UV paint, or I'm sorry, the same paradise paint. Painted over the eyebrows, painted the eyeliners, painted it right on the eyelashes, didn't even use a mascara. Let that dry, I start painting in the petals, and it's ready to move on to the next phase. Now since she is only 16, we decided to just kind of stick with a girly little flowery look. And very light, very festive, very organic. And you can see I just kind of freehand little swirlies, just kind of do them real lightly, and then when I kind of decide where I'm going to stop with them. I just start building an intensity and just make them thicker and thicker and thicker. And you can see them going back and forth, back and forth, just kind of making mirror images. Now she has naturally long hair and I knew I was going to put her hair with a final shot on her shoulders. So I didn't really need to go crazy and haywire on her neck and her shoulders because you weren't going to see a lot of it. But once I get all the black trimmed out, I'm ready to go. 
you see I'll go to the mouth and for the teeth you just kind of draw out little horseshoe shapes top and bottom and then once that pet the black dries then I just go in with my UV paints and just in white and start marking out the teeth again it goes best in layers so one layer at a time let that go on you can see it getting a little darker and darker and once that's drying I just go on to the colors start using some yellows and some greens and blues again UV paints go best in layers so just keep adding and adding and with a tiny little round brush I fill in the petals with the yellow and then I use the same yellow to highlight the teeth just kind of give them some extra kick and extra pop but she's really starting to take shape here again I just kind of accent away you can go crazy as you want. Um, there's just endless possibilities with the sugar scrolls. They're endless amount of fun. Right, getting all set up, ready to go. She wanted an ace of spades, so there's my final little painting touch. And then it's time to move on to the hair. Now the flowers have been sitting and drying this whole time. I zapped them with a little hairspray, just kind of set the paint so it didn't flake on her. They're ready to go. Pull the hair out of the ponytail. I already kind of mapped out my head where I wanted the flowers, so I just kind of stuck them in and use some little bobby pins just kind of hold them in and frame them down now she has naturally extremely curly hair and quite to my awesome surprise I found out completely by accident that pipe cleaners <laughs> show up amazingly in black lights so I grabbed a couple of pipe cleaners wrapped them around a chopstick and voila now I got little curly cues that are going to mimic her hair kind of fun so I think I did about four of these Again, I literally just wedged them into the hair. <laughs> Her hair is so curly anyways. I think I used like four bobby pins for this entire thing. So just kind of wedge them in. Mimicking the little natural curly hair. Three on one side. One more on the other. Playing with those curly locks. Covering your shoulders. And there you have it. You can see they're just kind of sitting on the back. Uh, UV paints don't reflect. So I don't really need to worry about what's on the back side. And there you go. There's my sugar skull awesomeness. The final shots are taken at f1.8. My shutter speed is 1 1250th of a second. ISO 500, and these were taken on my 35mm lens. And as always, there's what it looks like in the regular studio lights. Still awesome, but man, does it sing in the black lights. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel because I would love to show you more behind the scenes videos. Bye guys!